Dismount the high pressure pipes according to procedure 909.14. Close the oil inlet valve to the fuel oil pump and drain the pump. Dismount the air pipe connection to the puncture valve. Dismount the drain oil pipe from the top cover. Dismount the puncture valve from the top cover. See procedure 9098. Dismount the suction valve. Remove the top cover fixing nuts. Loosen the top cover by means of the two dismantling screws from the tool panel. Dismount the fuel index pointer. Mount the lifting tool on the fuel pump top cover. Screw the center screw of the tool into the plunger. Ensure that the stop ring on the center screw is loose. Pull the center screw of the tool to lift the plunger clear of the bayonet joint in the roller guide and the milled recess of the regulating guide. Lift the top cover and barrel with the plunger out of the fuel pump housing as one unit. Set up the pump unit in a bench vise provided with soft jaws. Loosen and remove the screws from the plunger and barrel assembly and remove the top cover.
remove and discard the sealing rings. Carefully clean and examine the top cover. Fill the oil ducts in the top cover with heavy grease. Mount the milling tool. Turn the miller using, for example, an adjustable spanner while tightening the guide screw lightly to provide suitable pressure between the miller and seat. For the maximum milling grinding diameter of the seat, see the data sheet 1095. After completing the milling, blow out the grease from the oil ducts using compressed air. Lubricate the ring grooves with molybdenum disulfide and mount a new sealing ring. Mount the new backup rings. Mount a new O-ring between the backup rings. Mount the plunger barrel in the bench vise. Remove and discard the O-rings. Clean the outside of the barrel. To evaluate the barrel plunger, see the instruction manual, Volume 1, Chapter 706. Lubricate with molybdenum disulfide
and mount a new O-ring. Mount a new backup ring. Clean the barrel and the top cover. Mount the overhauled top cover on top of the barrel. Mount the screws. Tighten according to the datasheet 109.5. Mount the lifting tool. Set up the puncture valve in a bench vise with soft jaws. Remove the union. Loosen and remove the two screws and pull the upper part of the housing clear of the lower part of the housing. Dismount the cover. Remove the spindle and the spring from the housing Remove and discard all the O-rings and sealing rings. Clean all the parts in clean diesel oil. Heat the sealing rings in 100 degrees centigrade hot water for a minimum of 5 minutes. Mount the O-ring on the piston. Mount the cone on the spindle. Place the hot sealing ring on the cone. And by means of the pusher, push the sealing ring onto the O-ring. Compress the sealing ring by means of the compression tool. Mount the O-rings on the spindle. Mount the long cone on the spindle. Place the hot sealing ring on the cone and, by means of the pusher, push the sealing ring onto the O-rings in the lowermost groove. Okay. 
nogle spørgsmål, om vi skal stå og køle lidt, du. Compress the ceiling ring by means of the compression tool. Repeat on the uppermost ring groove on the rod of the air piston with the short cone. Mount the upper part of the housing in the bench vise. Lubricate with molybdenum disulfide. And mount a new O-ring. Mount the cover in the bench vise. Lubricate with molybdenum disulfide. and mount a new O-ring. All of the parts are now ready for assembling. Mount the upper part housing on the lower part housing. Mount the spring and air piston in the upper part of the housing. Mount the cover and tighten the screws. Set up the suction valve in a bench vise and press down the spring by means of the cone to release the valve spindle from the two-part conical ring. Clean the part thoroughly. Inspect the seat on the valve spindle and the seat on the valve housing for damage. If the seats are damaged, a new or reconditioned suction valve must be fitted. After cleaning and inspecting all the parts, assemble the suction valve. Check the seats for tightness by filling the inlet hole with oil and waiting five minutes. No oil may pass through the seats. Mm -hmm. 
Mount the supplied measuring pin on the center screw of the lifting tool. Loosen the stop ring on the center screw. Place the tool on the pump housing and press down the center screw until the measuring pin reaches the thrust piece of the roller guide. Lock the center screw in this position with the stop ring. The engine must not be turned until the mounting of the barrel plunger assembly has been completed. Lubricate the top cover and the barrel with molybdenum disulfide. Carefully lower the assembly into the pump housing. Adjust the top cover so that the guide pin enters the hole in the pump housing. Lower the top cover onto the pump housing. Unscrew the center screw from the plunger and remove the tool from the top cover. Place the shims on the pump housing and press down the top cover. Turn the engine one revolution and check that the top cover doesn't lift. If the top cover lifts, the plunger is not correctly mounted and must be remounted. Mount the nuts. Tighten them diagonally. See the data sheet 1095. Mount the suction valve in the top cover. Mount the puncture valve in the top cover. See procedure 9098. Mount the pipe connection to the puncture valve. Mount the drain oil pipe to the top cover. Mount the two high-pressure pipes on the top cover and the fuel valves. See procedure 90914.
mount the index pointer. Open the fuel oil inlet valve. 